your memory, to play sports better, to improve your worth ethic, or just be a better person? What if I told you you can do all this and more by doing a couple simple activities a day? By challenging your mind, you do just that. There are plenty of mental benefits from challenging your mind. Laura Gelman, an author for Reader's Digest, suggests adults who spend their downtime doing creative or intellectual activities at a 32% slower rate of cognitive decline. This means, by challenging your mind, you actually keep your brain younger and prevent brain diseases such as Alzheimer's. You also strengthen your brain and your way of thinking. This was essential for me during my sixth grade history class because I had Mr. Ray as my history teacher. He mostly taught in presentations and expected us to take notes. While I did take notes, I was not the best at it. But because I read a lot, I was able to incorporate his lessons as stories and the real life people as characters in a book. I was even able to predict what some people would do later on in life. But challenging your mind isn't limited to mental benefits. There are physical benefits as well. Challenging your mind can improve your eye-hand coordination. I realized this when I started taking drums last September. I was able to move things easier and know how much force to put into them to make them go where I wanted them to. This mostly became apparent during soccer season. Last year, in seventh grade, I had trouble keeping the ball close to my feet and often ended up with a lot of battles for the ball because of this. But this year, in eighth grade, I had an easier time keeping it close to my feet and had less battles for the ball because of this. But you don't have to be extremely physical to get this benefit. Stephen Johnson, an author and media theorist, found surgeons who play video games have 37% fewer errors than those who do not. So by challenging your mind, you could actually save a person's life. You may not think of this, but there are also emotional benefits to challenging your mind. Challenging your mind can make you happier. By drawing, you release dopamine, a chemical that relieves stress, wakes you up, and makes you happier. Whenever I get stressed out and have one of those days that just doesn't work, I draw a simple picture. This makes me feel better, and I'm able to think at a more logical angle. This could help you in both your school and work life. Have that one person in class you just can't stand, but they seem to be in every single one of your classes? Draw a simple picture. You'll feel better, and they'll be out of your mind in a minute. Have a huge presentation for work tomorrow and still don't know what you're going to talk about? Put some squiggles on a page and write an exemplary presentation. So you know the benefits, but how do you challenge your mind? You could play an instrument, play sports, play, or play video games. Ed Zimini, a board-certified physician, found that the observational studies of people who are more socially integrated, mentally and physically active, and were relatively free from negative emotions, such as depression and anxiety, all seem to be related with aging better cognitively. This means by starting now and challenging your mind, you could actually be one of those cool grandparents later on in life. But you don't have to be extremely physical. You could mentally challenge your mind. You could read, do an art project, or something as simple as learning a new word a day. Or you could have an outside-of-the-box way of thinking and do, as my mentor, Ms. Eggleston, does, go horseback riding. So you know the benefits. You know how to challenge your mind. But there are just so many hurdles in the way. Instruments can cost upwards to hundreds of dollars. Then there's all the time you have to put into it. Or maybe you're just scared, shaken to the core. You don't like trying new things. Or maybe you just can't find something for you. Luckily, there are simple solutions to these hurdles. If money's a problem, you could go on eBay or Craigslist or other used item sites and buy a used item for half the cost. This is what my dad and I did when we were buying my drum set. Cheap starter drum sets can cost upwards to $400. But my dad and I went on Craigslist and found a good, electronic, hardly used drum set for just $250. And if time's a problem, put aside just five minutes a day to whatever you choose. If you're scared, go with a friend. And if you don't know what to do, ask for recommendations from your friends and family. They probably know you better than you do. So what are you waiting for? Are you going to strengthen your memory? Are you going to play sports better? Are you going to improve your work thick, thick? And are you going to be a better person? Or have you ever just seen a boat? Take a moment to envision your mind as a boat. The stronger the build, the easier it is to ride the waves. So if you're someone who likes to ride the hard waves in life, you'll need a strong build. And sometimes the waves can get hard, even if you don't want them to. But you have to ride them out just the same. So I encourage you to go out there, build your boat, ride the waves, and make your brain your domain.